Welcome back to Ballhead of Metal, guys. My name is Joseph. Today we're doing a reaction, but it's slightly different. By super popular demand from you guys, we're actually going to do a full Winter Suns album reaction. If there's a particular song you're looking for for me to react to, you could skip along. I'll make sure I uh, timestamp everything for you. But uh, from what I understand, it's one of those albums like it just needs to be listened from beginning to end. It's 40 something minutes. I'll try to stop not too much. Uh, but at the same time, you have to understand from two perspectives. I want to make sure I have some sort of input while I remember it and how I feel in the moment because I want to share what, what's happening during the reaction, not just my facial expression. And secondly, just because that's what's going to allow me to upload it and show it to you guys, I do have to have quite a lot of pauses. So I'll try to not go crazy with them. Let's put it that way. Anywho, let's get right into it. I'm already listening to a couple songs from Winter Sun. I loved literally everything I've heard. I've mentioned that I love Antiferum, so this is kind of right up my alley. I expect to like it. I don't I don't think there's gonna be some kind of a negative reaction. It's gonna be a matter of how much I like it, I think. Alright, let's do it. I didn't even look at the song names, nothing. I'm just going straight for it. Totally blind, and then I'll kind of see how each song ends and we'll figure out all the names. Awaken from the Dark Slumber. Oh, I guess that's the name of the first song. I really like the beginning. Very moody. And I haven't heard their studio production yet, so this is going to be interesting to hear. Right away, I like the, the, the beginning with uh, this kind of symphonic, moody, atmospheric uh, melody that you get on the keyboard and how the music is slowly building. I already love this kind of a beginning. Uh, and let's see how it progresses. With, I already can see the drums kind of kicking in very well. It's actually interesting how clear his voice is on the uh, studio production. I really like it. He's growling, but I can understand every single word. And not to mention it's nice to get the lyrics here.
the lyrics are really interesting. I mean, I'm almost not too concerned with lyrics in the sense to kind of understand every single element of it, because I believe it's very hard to take in everything that was being said in one listen and just fully understand what a song is about. Because he writes this music for probably a year, two years, whatever it is, and really thinks over the lyrics. So, so what makes you think like we'll be able to just get everything automatically by just reading it? I feel like it has to be digested multiple times. But I, I do like this kind of black metal dark atmosphere to it, 100%. What does this remind me of? Right away, Demo Burger in their later albums, uh, where they started having a lot more symphonic elements in their music. And the way he would do the vocals to certain, like, especially Abracadabra was like the last album. Uh, it was very much uh, in this kind of vein. digging the three different style of vocal performances that I think all add different layers to this song. And it looks like it's going to be a theme throughout uh, the four seasons, right? The four songs, the four seasons. Uh, I'm really enjoying that. And for anybody who follows this channel, you, you know that I'm typically not a huge fan of uh, vocal changes. Uh, it has to fit within the music. Like, I don't like very drastic changes from, like, growls to, like, poppy singing or uh, a voice for me, that just doesn't like, like operatic music with like black metal. Sometimes, like just for me, doesn't mix. I don't, I don't like it. Some people like those things. I don't. Here, I think he, they all have different vocal styles that they're bringing to the song that add something to the mood of the music. Let me rewind you just a bit. <laughs> changing of the season I don't think so it is okay Bring. oh I love this beginning
I'm really, really liking how it's switched up. It looks like it's the same song still, but really like how it's switched up. Just completely changes the mood. They really don't stick around on one element for too long, and they make all the elements in the song very, very interesting. And that, that's been true of all the songs I've heard so far from Winter Sun, which I think in many, many ways is much, it's just big growth for all the musicians in this band because Hensiferum, despite how much I liked it, it was more formulaic. It's like, oh, we're going to have our bridge, we're going to have our chorus, it's going to be a couple of interesting elements, but it was always a fun music to listen to, whereas this is a lot more mature. why this is so up my alley right now i have uh, uh my uh, fiance asked me like oh we should watch harry potter together and i've watched all the harry potter movies i like fancy films i'm like okay that was pretty cool but let me show you the real shit the real fantasy and i showed her i started showing her lord of the rings and you know listening just having lord of the rings in my mind and how much i love that movie first of all and now listening to this and it's just Somehow it's in my brain, it's like interconnecting. It's like this little mishmash in my brain that's just like absolutely, like I'm getting goosebumps actually right now, just even talking about it, how much I'm enjoying this. Like even by the lyrics, I think this is a season seasonal change, right? It's like the, the the gloominess of winter into the the spring and where life is sprouting and animals are out. So this kind of yeah, you can feel the thematic. Um, obviously, I'm not 100 percent sure. I only started. I know they're finished. I know this band is finished. If somebody, some of you guys can please correct me. Um, it was, Finland weren't, they weren't Vikings, were they? Because I know Norway, Sweden are, uh, and uh, Danes. With the three kind of main Viking groups, right? Uh, 
Finland wasn't, I think they were just pagans, just like just Vikings, right? They weren't, they weren't uh, of the Viking culture, but they were close. Obviously, they're neighboring on uh, neighboring land. Can, please correct me. I know I'm, I'm probably just completely butchered it and messed that up. all the layering i'm sorry i'm repeating myself so much the guitar the rhythm guitar the, the the keyboards there's so much you know what it is i do notice i understand why you guys like the live performances from the more because this there's, there's a more impact when they're doing it there live but on this production they've layered the music so much that i don't think it was the same way on the live videos that i've seen there's so many different layers that they just can't do i think on the live performance you know it always happens to certain songs because they played more guitar tracks they added more instruments sometimes they can't switch from acoustic to electric or whatever it may be uh and it sounds really good i know it's what i like it's also not, not overly produced music it's like they kept it they kept a certain rawness to the music performances but i really love the growls he has i don't know it just it brings that level of aggression that i think this 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 song or their music this band needs and then this guy comes out with these kind of beautiful vocals
What a song. That was a kick-ass song. I really, really, really like that. But again, it looks like it was two songs. Again. Winter Sun. Oh no, so the forest that weeps. No, I guess it's gonna end with the uh, winter. Because thematically, I think where it's going, it's going to end with winter. So I think it was spring and the progression of spring from the, the wintry months of March and February into the warmer sprouting uh, months of so, uh, spring. I'm a huge fan of bands like um, Immortal and Emperor, uh, Demo Burger. Like a lot of these bands that really like to create these very, very atmospheric, moody uh, songs and elements in their music. So much so, anytime it, 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 it snows, I always listen to Immortal. Uh, anytime, like you certainly, I get into survive, like I, I get in the summer and I'm walking out and like in the sun somewhere, I'll listen to something like uh, Carl Sanders when he does uh, his uh, solo projects, or even Nile or Melikesh, something like that. I always like to listen to music for certain kinds of moods. a beautiful couple of lines i really really like that this comparison of what i am this thing from the ground looking up as you're that thing up there looking down and then we're reaching kind of for each other i really like that kind of uh, comparison
the thing I noticed with uh, Winter Sun, which I think was the reason why I didn't get into it many, many years ago, is it requires a certain level of patience with the songs, because the songs tend to be very long. And if you don't have either the, the patience for it and let it kind of digest through you and kind of go through you, and you, don't, you just can't sit down and let it play out, I think you might lose concentration go somewhere else. And I think that's what happened to me. Um, I actually have that issue even with Metallica, like uh, Injustice for All. Well, I think in, uh, in Injustice for All, it's an actual issue where I feel like every single song is slightly too long in Injustice for All. Like here, I so far, I don't think anything is stretched out more than it needs to be. Uh, in Injustice for All, every song is like they play the chorus or a certain riff over like 20 times. You know, and it's like, okay, I got it. Can we move on to the next section of the song? Like, it's just, it becomes repetitive at a certain point, especially like Short as Straw. It's like one of those songs that, like, geez, I love the song, but it's like, could have been like a minute shorter. Uh, but here so far, everything seems to flow really nicely, but you do need to be in the right state of mind. At least for me. that chant uh like a warrior chant almost what they're singing it's like it almost feels like a viking song uh as they will be on the boat you know sailing to the next destination that they're gonna pillage that's a nice transition very very natural transitions I'm gonna assume this is one of their later albums. That's what I mean, there's so much layering to the music, there's so much going on.
yeah i really like that change into that more rougher guitar the only thing i can see so far that i can't say it's not to my liking it's more of what, what i've preferred i think i understand why they're doing it they've toned their guitars and the power of the guitars like you can hear their their music is a lot harsher live and here it's more mellowed out to allow all the layers i'm guessing all the layers of the music really shine through where it'd be some instrumentals some keyboards some softer elements because otherwise you wouldn't be they'll be drowned out by the guitars and uh the bass and the drums so they have to kind of shift them down a little bit right so everything is on an even plane and they'd play well together whereas when i was singing listening to the songs like time and other song live there's just a certain harshness to all of what they were playing and i i always like the more harsher sound uh, i wish the tuning of the guitars was a little bit like this throughout the album and maybe even a little higher than that but it's just a nitpick it's not like a, a necessity or anything like that it's just my preferences what do i know about music production Yeah, I'm expecting like Gimli, Aragorn, and Legolas to come out of the tree somewhere here. be really cool if live when they're performing this chant or this uh chorus they'll be like literally um opera singers or like a choir in the back singing this this will be really really cool uh something to do live as a matter of fact i think uh manowar has done that with the uh, crown in the ring which was really epic when they did that song that way uh and when they did i remember sons of Odin live they had like literally uh two actors stressed as vikings fighting in the middle of the stage in like this kind of a set that looked like a, a battlefield it was really really freaking cool um but you have to have the budget to do that kind of thing and i, I don't know if winter sun has that kind of budget it just would have been nice to see something like that i thought we would just make it so much more epic and unforgettable <laughs>
I don't know, I feel like listening to this, it really shows the experience of this band, right? Like, I've never seen a, a young band. Like, we, I actually talked about it with a couple people on the com in the comments down below where we compared uh, a, a band that just starts to a band that it progresses in later in their career. And a lot of times what I said was that a lot of bands do some of their best work in the beginning because they have so much fire energy. Like, there's some bands that just literally produce their best work in the beginning. I thought Megadeth uh, and Metallica at the beginning of their career is phenomenal. Slayer... The later part of their careers are they, they kind of lost the fire and a good point that was made by one somebody down in the comments that yeah that's that is true for some people the fire might die down but the experience and the knowledge of songwriting and everything that elevates even higher and i think this is the the example a perfect example of that where it's i don't see like a young band being able to like write such complex i can i'm just making an opinion like i don't know but I, I don't I see like a young band writing such complex, beautiful melodies, like so much. You need to have some experience behind your back, tried different things and experimented and done all these things to arrive at this point. Uh, and this is like, this is absolutely beautiful so far. Yep, and they come back to that element with the acoustic guitar. But so now it's fall, right? Yep, and now it's in real life. It's August. September's right around the corner. Winter's done. I mean, summer's done. Then fall arrives. Winter sun. Well, yeah, yeah, it is eternal darkness, right? In in uh, Alaska, I don't know if it is. Uh, how many days of night? I forgot what countries have long, really long, uh, weeks without any kind of day, and. I think it's Alaska, it's uh, New, uh, was it Iceland, right? Um, maybe somebody else can correct me down below in the comments, but autumn, yeah, usually it's not in New York, autumn is really nice. Um, it's just winter sucks in the city because it's nothing but really tall buildings and it creates a really strong wind tunnels, especially New York is underwater, so it's right next to the Atlantic. It's really bringing in all the wind from the south and the north. It, it's we just get like the shittiest weather sometimes during the winter spring yeah spring and fall are two best seasons in europe you know the lyrics are gonna be gloomy And it looks like the song is gonna be gloomier too because of the right the season of autumn. More black metal probably.
yep the cold months come in like i said it's more of a black metal vibe i really like conceptually how they change the songs based on the season i think that's a really really cool approach to the songwriting um very masterful songwriting because you really have to come up with that. i really wonder who writes all the music in winter sun i'm sure it's a very collaborative process to create something that's as complex as it is Is some dark lyrics not to mention uh the drummer jesus he has some stamina <laughs> i mean i know if in a death metal or a black metal band you need some stamina to play the drums but jesus he's been on that same rhythm for a while <laughs> this song just a little bit now see like it, it's starting a little bit not to drag because i can't judge it based on the first listen but it's like uh it's it's more setting up a mood but i can't help already see the attention span in my brain maybe it's just me being uh still born born in a millennial in a millennial age i'm 87 it, it sounds like okay like can let, let's move let's see let's see what the next element is in the song because i really like the progressions of the first two songs and this one seems to be dragging just a little bit Let's be honest, uh, for the drummer, this might be must, must be pretty boring intro to song, to song to play, pretty hard and boring intro to a song to play as it do. he's waiting for it to progress into a different element. Uh, so far, this is my least, I like the mood. I definitely like the black metal vibe to the song, and I like, again, what they're doing conceptually, but so far, this is my least favorite song.
I really like both the deep growl and the screeching growl from both of them. They really add different nice elements to it, and I think it's really cool. Um, here, the, what I was talking about that I wanted really bad that I said in a previous song is the idea of having more impactful instruments. And here, I really wish the drummer, like they, they toned them up, they, they gave him this kind of a more pristine sound. He's almost like... I know they, they did it on purpose to let the melodies ride, but it, it kind of gives him, I don't know, because can, I can barely, I can hear the melodies in the background if you really listen. Because uh, I'm also, you know, I'm, I'm putting it to a certain, like my ear headphones only go to a certain loudness. But at the same time, it's just like, I don't know, it just kind of blends a little too much, but it's hard to discern every single instrument. Maybe it's a conscious choice. really like these concept albums i really really do i i recommended one album on this channel as a album recommendation uh segment that i do it was uh green carnation heart of the light of day day of darkness and the same thing it's kind of a it seems like it's a concept album going from one to the other um uh, really like that kind of stuff not always in the mood for it i'll be honest not always in the mood for it but when i am i'm really enjoying it Also, a musician that stands out the most to me. I think they're all wonderful. The both guitars, the bass player. Um, it's a little hard for me to notice. Also, just because you know, I I don't play music much. I played guitar for like a two years, self-taught, but I wasn't very good. Uh, but the drummer, he's so good. I know I've mentioned it many, many, many times, but I, he's just so, so good. Fucking solo, holy shit. <laughs> yeah.
I will tell you one thing though. So far, listening to the album, you know, a good portion, three fourths of this uh, album, already into it. Um, I don't think I would ever listen to this album one song at a time. Uh, I would probably have to like if you put it on, you have to listen to the whole album because there's no particular song I'm like, oh, I need to listen to this song again. Uh, mainly because there's such long songs, and not to mention that it's so conceptually tied together from one to the other that I would have to listen to the full album whenever I listen to it, um, which is not my preferred uh, choice usually when I listen to music, because music is something that's digestible. Typically, like I don't have as much time to sit down and listen to a full album. Uh, I'll sometimes break it up into parts or whatever I can uh, on my way there before I start my YouTube channel here. So now I'm trying to give it the full respect of listening it from beginning to end, but sometimes at certain points, especially if songs drag a little bit, or you're you're traveling around the city, you might miss elements. It's like I don't know. It's uh, it's just how I I I, I uh, consume music. But it's fucking great so far. Yeah, this is everything I've heard from them thus far. I, I was calling it melodic death metal. And here I this is just straight up black metal and I love it. I love black metal. A lot of people like I, I hear a lot in the comments, people come in, you know, I'll react to somebody like Love Bites or even Ginger and people tell me it's like, oh, if somebody just growls the whole time, I don't like it. I love a good growl any day of the week, give it to me. A good singer, give it to me. I just like everything. I like basically every genre of heavy, heavy metal. Uh, some less than others. Like I typically listen to metalcore and hardcore less. I'm not a big fan of new metal, but there's a couple songs that I like. And hair metal is the, probably the only genre where I really don't listen to. Even though, again, I like Def Leppard. Um, I like glam rock, like Kiss and stuff like that. But just something to take into account.
I feel like the lyrics are very hard to understand if you're not in a know what the hell is going on. Like without, I am I am of the belief that I should not need to research anything. I should not need to look into anything. I should be able to read the lyrics and interpret them in some shape or form and get something from it. Now, you know, maybe not necessarily see the same thing that the creator saw when they were making this kind of music, but to take away something from it, right? Um, where there's some people believe that you should do research before you listen to something like that. So you know exactly what's going on. I'm of a different opinion. And I don't know this, this I don't know exactly know what I don't think the lyrics are trying to particularly say some kind of say something in particular, but more like poetry where it's trying to convey a feeling. Um, I'm sure it's based on either mythology or some kind of poetry, maybe for something like that. But I think it's more trying to convey a feeling rather than some specific message. Uh, that's what it seems like to me. That was a crazy switch. But now winter has come. That was, I like that. I like what it did visually. It almost confused me like I thought the video was done. I got scared there for a second. That song. Loneliness. Winter. Yeah. People are more depressed. Feel more lonely. Lower vitamin D. That causes a lot of it. I, I actually like like winter like this with snow everywhere. I fucking love that. I'm from Russia, so for me it's it's home. My father actually had to do army in Siberia. That must have been fun. I don't know, I find beauty in the isolation of winter. I find beauty in snow, I find beauty in this kind of like... ...landscapes. Which in New York I would have to go up a little further north. kind of setting up a feeling right with this kind of long intro um i don't know i've always i've been against it like me and my brother always have a point of contention i remember listening to opeth blackwater park and the last song blackwater park has this like section that's like a minute and a half 
of just like very somber kind of guitar playing and i'm always told them like why can't they just play 30 seconds in that and kind of get into it like i get the point it's like no it's like you need that break from the what was going on before so that when the, the music kicks in again it makes total sense and that would always been like no keep it shorter keep it more concise um i don't like anything prolonged like i typically don't like extended cuts of movies uh on a rare occasion they're actually better but typically don't like extended cuts of movies don't don't like uh games that purposely like to be like video games that i try to purposely elongate the gameplay by making you do this like goose chase or something like that so i typically don't like when they when they stretch certain melodies out for too long um but that's it's a nitpick it's a personal preference nitpick because whatever i say here the person next to me will be like but i absolutely love that it sets me in the mood right and that's the beauty of it we all interpret the music so differently That was nice. He has a nice voice here. You guys let me know that uh, the, the singer, the guy from Ensiferium, I'm sorry, I don't know all their names. Uh, it's hard for me to remember, not to mention pronounce them. Um, that he essentially has like one lung. So he, for him even to sing, and especially in the intensity that he sings that, it's quite impressive because his breath control is limited. Um, man, he really does. You can really feel the emotion in his vocals, whether it be singing or growls. And that's what I really, really, really like. I definitely didn't expect this to be for the winter. Uh, whatever was autumn, I expected that to be for winter. Like this darkness and moodiness and like death and everything like that. Whereas this is kind of more sad. Not It's not dark. It's not... Uh, 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 well, I don't know if it's evil is the right word, the other one, but more just yeah, gloomy. This This is more sad.
wonder if conceptually when the album ends because it's a repeating cycle right the life repeats and the cycles of world or the seasons repeat if it's somehow going to lead into that that whatever happens like they what they created is conceptually here the progression of things that happen if it just goes one back into another and repeats that's going to be really interesting um Yeah, you know what it is? It's like, I also, I also think it takes a lot of restraint because they're really good musicians who can play very complex musical notes from the drummer to the bass player, the guitars and everything. But they purposely hold themselves back in the service of the music uh, to create these perfect melodies and moods and sounds because you can't have be, you know, shredding solos the whole time like Ingvay Mimstein if you're trying to convey a certain feeling. Um, and I think the path they've chosen is so much harder. And from time to time, like on solos, a certain uh, guitar riffs that will display what they're capable of. But I think it's like they always have one hand behind their back, holding back just a little bit. I think Winter Sun is at their best when they constantly progress their songs. They keep the mood, they keep the feeling, but there's a certain level of progression in their music all the time. Uh, I think they're at their best because they're displaying such prowess and skill. Whereas when they had that Winter Song or Autumn Song, uh, where it was a little bit more repetitive for the sake of the mood and what they were trying to convey. Um, yeah, definitely Winter is going to be my least favorite song out of the album because everything else is is really 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 good and i wouldn't be able to pick out of uh summer spring and winter i don't think i can really pick a favorite because they, i like them all equally for different reasons
I like that every single song also introduces elements. I kind of faded away a little bit for a second there. I like that every single song introduces elements that another song doesn't have. Uh, even including the, the autumn is that that black metal element to the song. Then here is the woman singing and another song will have like they just introduce different elements in each of the songs and thematically keep it to what they were trying to convey for each of the seasons, which I think is uh, masterful, masterful work. song too like a warrior trying to find his way home an odyssey I'm guessing this is the end yeah well well there you go guys that was the whole reaction to the album and what I want to use the end for is a review of what I thought of this album, I thought it'd be a nice thing to do, and I I think it's a phenomenal. First of all, let me just say it. Let me say it. I think you kind of got the point for anybody who watched the whole reaction. Is that yeah, I think it's a phenomenal album. It's not perfect in my eyes, um, but it's phenomenal. There's just conceptually, I love the idea of different songs being different seasons, conveying different moods and different feelings. Uh, I can't tell you exactly with the lyrics if I got everything. I think, uh, like I said, it was a more poetic approach to conveying a feeling rather than a specific message in each song. Uh, and the songwriting, the complexity, the, the layering of the amount of different melodies and the complexity of the music, them never really adhering to just a, a very clear structure and formulaic structure in their songs, I really, really appreciate, really love. The musicians, all of them, are just on the top of their game. I really like the singing, the growling, the deep growls. Like, there was no element there that I disliked. Now, when I say it's not perfect, I do believe there's elements in the songs that stretch out for just a little bit too long. Uh, maybe because they want you to fade away a little bit, but I think it's just it just stands a little bit too long. You know, as an artist, sometimes you fall in love with your own work and you don't want it to end and you don't know how to cut it down. Like why a lot of directors have a lot of trouble cutting down movies because they need to make them tight and compact. And I feel like this could have been a little bit tighter as an album. And the, the Autumn song, I think, is the weakest song in this album. It's not a bad song by any means. But the element of that black metal kind of drumming, keeping that same rhythm almost the whole song, it it kind of killed, killed it just a little bit for me. Uh, because he's such a skilled drummer, there's so much he can have done to maintain that kind of feeling and rhythm. But they chose to keep it this kind of more monotone pace. And my other the issue that I've had with this album is I wish I could hear the instruments more impactfully. Because the way they've done it now, and I'm pretty sure it's maybe on purpose, maybe, maybe you know, I don't understand anything about mixing music, uh, but I would have liked to hear the guitar work and the drums and the bass 
be more impactful in the music with the melodies being the harder ones to hear sometimes where sometimes it's the opposite the melodies come forward and are brought forward and some of the, the guitar work and drums are more accompanying that melody and i wish it was actually the other way around other than that really i don't i don't really have anything negative to say i think it's more nitpicks and preferences that i have personally rather than what should have been right uh, because we all gonna interpret this differently but i understand there's been a lot of fans saying that live they're better live they're so much better live i understand why because of that impactfulness um but again at the same time you would lose some of that layering of the melodies in a live concert so it's, it's a win win lose kind of situation you, you pick your pick your poison how you want to do it but as as far as songwriting goes as far as I think it's it's a it's a totally a classic album. I understand the reputation of this band and why people like him so much. It's clear to me. It's a, it's clear why they're this good. Uh, of course, it, I think it, it has to do with the maturity of these music, musicians progressing to a point where they are to write something as masterful as this. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be adding Winter Sun to my discography of something that I need to keep there and. Uh, let me know let me tell you guys there's a lot of bands i can't believe i haven't had winter sun up to this point but it's never too late right hopefully guys you enjoyed the review section and you enjoyed the whole reaction of the album uh hopefully you stuck around with me to stay this long to hear it i would love to hear from you how you felt during this album what it meant to you in the lyrics um and your feelings overall on the production on the musicality of everything of this album uh very very emotional album and that that tip for me trumps anything else um like i said i felt like the musicians they have so much more skill than they even displayed on this album in the service of the music to create the moves they're trying to do rather than show look how technical and crazy i am although there was very specific moments of extreme technicality on display here as well but i'm just saying like they kind of like look we need to have a more somber moment we need to more have a more emotional moment rather than shredding solos every three seconds uh, although I would, I think they could have done it easily if they wanted to. Um, there you go, guys. If you enjoyed this, uh, make sure to re you know subscribe down below on this channel. Be on the lookout for my other reviews and uh, metal album recommendations as I release on this channel, as well as other reactions. And I hope you have a really good day. You keep it metal out there and take care of yourself, guys. Peace out.